Good morning, I hope you are happy and well on this beautiful Tuesday morning. <gasps> I just told you what day it is today. Oh well, let's see if you remember when we talk about it. Mommies and daddies, if you have been watching or if you've just started watching and you are enjoying these, just a quick reminder, please, please, please press the subscribe button. It costs nothing. It's just an email address and um, help help support me so I can support you. I really want to get these videos out there and I want to be able to keep on making them for you every single morning and every day. I'm enjoying the journey, the learning journey that we are on together for our Montessori Morning Circles. Are you ready to welcome in the day? Yes, let's go. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. The sun is coming up. The sun is coming up. We thank the earth for spinning round and being here for us. When I sit at circle, my bottom is on the floor. My legs are crisscross applesauce. My eyes are looking, my ears are listening, my mouth is closed and my hands are in my lap. Tommy Thumb is up and Tommy Thumb is down. Tommy Thumb is dancing all around the town. Dance him on your shoulders, dance him on your head. Dance him on your knees and tuck him into bed. Good morning to you, good morning to you. We're all in our spaces with bright shiny faces and I say to you, good morning to you. Good morning, Miss Alexa. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. I'm glad you're here today. Hurry. Buenos dias. Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Y usted? Buenos dias. Como estas? Muy bien, gracias. Y usted. Good morning, my friends, and what a beautiful morning it is today. Hmm, but what day is it today? I know I gave you a big clue earlier on. Yes, today is Tuesday. If yesterday was Monday and tomorrow will be Wednesday, it means today is Tuesday. Let's take a look. Wow, we are nearly at the end of the month. Can you help me, please? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Ooh, that's a lot of numbers. Today is Tuesday, April 28. Are you selling Martes? El 28 de abril. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. Los dias de la semana son siete, son siete. De los dias de la semana son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes. Sábado, domingo son siete, son siete. Lunes, martes, miércoles. 
viernes. Sábado, sábado, domingo. Sunny, 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 sunny. Is it sunny in the sky? S U N N Y is sunny. Is it sunny in the sky? Cloudy, 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 cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? C L O U D Y cloudy. Is it cloudy in the sky? Rainy, 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 rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? R A I N Y is rainy. Is it rainy in the sky? Windy, 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 windy. Is it windy in the sky? W I N D Y windy. Is it windy in the sky? Snowy, 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 snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? S N O W Y is snowy. Is it snowy in the sky? What is the weather? Oh, well here it is sunny. So I am going to sing about the sun, but if the weather is a little bit different with you, maybe you want to call it bright, maybe you want to say it's hot or warm, or maybe it's cold, then you sing about the weather with you and I will sing about the sun. I know a day just like today and sunny was the weather. S-U-N-N-Y, S-U-N-N-Y, S-U-N-N-Y and sunny was the weather. My friends, I am so excited today because it is art day for a start. Art day is brilliant and we are going to make a A djembe. Yes. But what is a djembe? And why a j sound? Well, it's not actually a j sound. It actually begins with a d, d, a d. You remember our letter sound of the week is d, but you pronounce it djembe. Now there may be some people who say it differently to I the way I do. This is how I would pronounce it, but it sounds more like a j sound. But when you write it, it is d, j. Jembe d d drum. But what is that? Well, my friends, remember we're doing a study of Africa, the continent of Africa. It's an African drum. Do you want to see one? <gasps> yeah. Do you remember that day we saw my African mask? Well, it kind of looks the same as that. And you guys, if you didn't see that one, you can go back. That one was uh, last week, and you can go back and have a look at that. We made an African mask. It's still made out of wood. And can you see the same kind of beautiful paintings that are on this side? And do you know what else I was thinking? These actually look a lot like the Aboriginal paintings we were looking at from Australia too. So you can see similarities in the way things are decorated. This is a gem we done. This is a very small one. It might look bigger to you on screen, but if you see it beside me, it's like the size of my head. Sometimes you get much bigger drums. This is a very small one. This is my daughter Elizabeth's drum. She just turned three. So we got this for her when she was one because she loved to drum. Now I'm not sitting very well with it, but if you can see, I can hold it between my knees. You can drum with it. Now I'm not the best drummer, but I love to listen to the drumming and I love to play on it and I love to watch my daughter play on it. So I thought you might like to make your own djembe drum. Would you like that? Let me show you, let's do it together. Okay, wait while I pull back my work table. Ready? Let's go. Here we go, my friends. I have a lot of trays today, actually. So this is my initial tray. My tray, I have two plastic cups. You can use plastic cups. You can use styrofoam cups. You can use paper cups. They don't have to be as big as this. If you had a treat one day and you maybe got a takeout, got some food, 
from somewhere and you got them in a styrofoam cup, you can rinse those out and you can reuse them. That's a perfect idea because that goes with Earth Day is every day, right? We use things. I have two cups. I already had these in my house. So I have two cups. There are a pair of scissors. Now these are big adult scissors. Um, if you have a pair of your own scissors or maybe you get mommy and daddy to help you with this part. Or mommy and daddy. And then in my pot, I actually have some balloons and some rubber bands. Now, this is gonna be for the top pot. I'm going to explain another way that you can do that by using a masking tape or a different type of tape. I just happened to use balloons because when I went to go and find some masking tape, I didn't have any. And remember, the whole point in these craft days is try and use what you have in the house or if by chance you're going to the store, and you see something, you can pick it up there, but it's not supposed to be something super complicated. So if you need some ideas and you are on the Facebook group, contact me. And if you're not, you can reach me through that circle time with Miss Alexa. And I would be so happy to brainstorm some ideas of what else you could use if you don't have these materials to make your drum. I also found in my house, these are tiny little double-sided pieces of tape. These I will show you are to glue um, plastic cups together. A lot of people use um, a glue gun. I don't have a glue gun and it needs they need to be stuck together very well. So I decided to use these double-sided pieces of tape. I actually think they were for some pieces of furniture when you stick them, some pieces that you can stick down. So they're quite strong, but you can use whatever you need to use, whatever it takes to stick the cups together. So first of all, I had one, now I have two, yes. We are going to stick this cup on top of this cup. And with my double-sided tape, we will take one side of it off. I need to stick a few pieces to the inside. Now, it doesn't have to be super neat. You just need to make sure that Sticks on the bottom cup. Ready? I've got one more. Mm. One, two, three, five. Five pieces of tape on the bottom of the cup. Now with double-sided tape, it has two paper parts that you have to pull off. This can be a little bit tricky at times, but if you use this, just try and get a hold of the corner and it pulls off pretty easily. The last one, that's always a bit tricky. There we go, ready? All done! Not really all done. But I got my first part of the drum. Can you see? It's the base. And it's actually a little bit bigger than the one I've already got. Look at that. Now the top part is a little bit tricky. You might need mommy and daddy to help you. So if you are using a balloon, take your scissors. Remember how we pick up scissors? You're going to make a little slice inside of the balloon. Just to, I guess, make a little bit of a tear in it. And then you can tear it. This is going to form like this skin on the top. Now, this part is very tricky. I had to get Elizabeth, my three-year-old daughter, to help me with this part. And I imagine, I'm just going to put a little bit more of a cut in there. You are going to have to ask mommies and daddies, aunties, uncles, grandmas, grandas, brothers, sisters to help you hold it. I'm probably not going to be able to show you exactly what I need to do with this one because I need help and I'll show you why. We also need an elastic band. And what I'm going to do is stretch it over the top to form the skin. But it gets very stretchy and tight. Can you see? And it moves around. Let's see. Ooh, we might be able to get this one, guys. I needed someone to hold it for me. Excuse me for using my teeth while I put it around the top. Maybe we got it. Did we get it? My friend shall let you in onto a secret. I practiced this all morning and I couldn't do it by myself. Thank you for helping me. Thank you. 
gonna put two round just for a nice color and to make sure it stays. So this is our skin, can you see? Now, all that's needed is to decorate the bottom. Now, you can decorate it in many different ways. You can stick um, bits of paper on. If you have um, Sharpies or permanent marker pens, you can color those in. You can leave it whatever color it is if you want. Another way to make this is by putting masking tape all over the top and all around. And by rubbing with a cloth a bit of shoe polish all over, it gives it kind of an authentic wood feel. And shoe polish or used coffee grinds that works really well too or you can do what i did put this aside for a moment this is one that we started this, more tightly. this is one that elizabeth started so we took coffee filters it doesn't have to be coffee filters we painted them and then we made some papier mache now, I did not have any glue in the house, but I read that you can make papier-mâché by boiling one part flour with five parts water. You can rewatch this to get that. Then you stir it up, wait till it cools down, and then you paint it on. And this is one that Elizabeth started. She started by herself. We were putting the white parts on, and then we were gonna put the other parts down. So you can also use uh, papier-mâché if you want it to be stronger. And then here is My I love it. I'm so excited to see the drum that you come up with. I would love it if you could post it on the Facebook group. If you are not part of that, please also go find me Circle Time with Miss Alexa if you do not have and Facebook, I'm also on Instagram. You can message me there and I would love to see your pictures. We can keep them, the group is private. There is also an open group that you can post on. I thought we could finish, I'm gonna move this forward a little bit by listening to some real djembe music. Are you ready? Maybe I'll bring my drum here so I can practice. drum and music where you can take a lesson so when you have your own drum you can learn it as well on the open Facebook group remember just message me Instagram Facebook circle time with Miss Alexa if you are not on it but we are going to finish today we are going to finish by doing some the balloons made me think about this blowing up balloon breathing to do our panayama for the day are you ready I've got a bit of my papi and mash it's stuck on my thumb there it's not Let's blow up our balloons and take a deep breath in. Get your balloon ready. One, two, three, go. <sighs> Breathe in. <sighs> one last time, a really big one. Shoulders up and down in your back pockets. My friends, I am so excited. Join me tomorrow. We have a wonderful science experiment about cleaning water to do. And I can't wait to see you. Remember, if you have not subscribed yet, please go and do that if you're enjoying watching these videos. Share them with your friends so it becomes available to us all. And I hope you have fun making your drums. Goodbye.